on high alert. Good evening everyone. I'm Steve Hensley with four shootings in a two month span. Tension grows in Clay County in just a little more than a month. We've reported on three shootings, two resulting in murder investigations. And just last night, the husband and ex husband of a woman were injured when an argument ended up with shots fired. Deputies told WIT's Lauren Osborne it's becoming way too common. And one man says he's just afraid to walk out of his home. County, they fear for their lives following a string of shootings. It makes me feel terrified. I mean, you don't know if you can go out one day and get shot or you can make it back home. I've got two kids, three kids I've got to raise and a wife. So. In late July, police say Thomas Miracle hired Roscoe Henson to gun down Trevor Dykes as he left his home. Um, yeah, it's been very hard. Um, we've put in a lot of hours, um, especially with the Trevor Dykes murder. Um, teamwork is the biggest thing. Then on July 13th, police say Isaiah Stidham shot and killed Sherry Collins following an argument. Probably in my 10 years, I've saw eight and four of them being within the past two months. Officials urge anyone who may become disgruntled to seek help to prevent future shootings. We have a comprehensive care center here in Manchester uh, that deal with you know, events like this and, and can sit down and provide counseling. Folks say despite their concerns, they respect those who take an oath to serve and protect. Law enforcement is doing all they can do, I mean, but people just won't be crazy. As those living in the City of Hope share optimism, the gunfire will soon end. In Clay County, Lauren Osborne, WYMT Mountain News. If you feel you or someone